Hi everyone, welcome to the Tales of Luminaria show. In this show today, we're going to go over a lot of exclusive information about Luminaria, which we announced at Gamescom uh, as our brand new Tales original title for mobile. Uh, my name is Chieze, I'm the community relations producer, and I will be talking with... Hi, I'm Sugi, I'm a localized producer for the Tales of Luminaria. So today, we, I want to explain all of the Luminaria information. But uh, before that, uh, have you already guys uh, played our Tales of Arise? Uh, Tales of Arise is uh, our latest console title of the Tales of series. So it's available now on the PlayStation 5, 4, and the Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and also Steam. So if you haven't yet, I would like you to play it. Yeah, as um, many of you are probably aware, uh, we announced the brand new mobile Tales title, Tales of Luminaria, is underway and coming soon. Uh, in fact, the music we're listening to right now is also in the trailer. It sounds great, doesn't it? Indeed. So actually, so some of you, that some of the fans may already know that uh, the composer is uh, Shina Gosan, oh, okay. so who made the music for the Tales of Legendia and other great games. Oh, cool. Yes, I'm looking forward to uh, listening to more of uh, Shina-san's uh, music in the game. Yeah, it's just one music. It's just now one, that, and there's yeah. more, more of this. It's great. Um, so, by the way, um, we just mentioned that we just released Tales of Arise, mm -hmm. and we're talking about Tales of Luminaria. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like we have a lot of Tales games coming in for the 25th anniversary, right? You're right, indeed. So we just released our Tales of Arise in the 9th September. Oh, okay. So, Thanks for that. Are I heard that play enjoy it. Mm. So to follow up on the excitement of our 25th anniversary, mm. so we announced uh, Tales of Luminaria as a brand new mobile title. So and now this moment. Cool. Mm. Um, yeah, and in, in the announcement trailer, I just uh, we we're gonna show it again later. Don't worry. But mm. there wasn't that much information in the trailer, so I'm hoping we're gonna uh, change that today, right? Right. So. Now, today, we are talking about some many information about the Luminaria. So I hope that our people are looking forward to hearing that. At our, and our, as we already mentioned in the development message, so this will be a brand new title. It's a completely um, original mm. title for the mobile game. Mm. So we took many challenges for that. So one of them is our uh, creating a completely new adventure is uh, one of the challenging for the Luminaria. Okay, so it doesn't sound like anyone's going to need to know anything about previous Tales games to play this. Indeed, right? so there's a new, brand new uh, characters and brand new stories, so okay. you, you don't need to know about the previous title. Okay, mm -hmm. sounds good. Um, so before uh, we jump into too much detail, mm -hmm. like I mentioned before, let's show the announcement. Um, mm -hmm trailer one more time uh, for the people who haven't seen it yet. So please everyone, check it out. How did you feel about the people? Well, I mean, it was action-packed. I, I really like the music again. Mm -hmm. It's just really good. Um, and the, the world seems super unique. Um, and there's like a lot of characters and every, just it's very interesting. Yes, actually yeah. a lot of characters. So <laughs> really? I want to for, uh, explain for the characters and the story okay. and the world setting as well about the Luminaria. So let's go dive into that. Okay, sounds good. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. So first of all, let's mm -hmm. start with the world of Luminaria. Okay, sure. Uh, actually, as I said, uh, this Luminaria, the Luminaria is a completely, totally original title. So there's no previous characters from previous stories. Okay. So there's all brand new characters and our brand new stories. 
Oh, okay. So there are two factions in the world, mm. which is a uh, federation, and uh, with, and uh, the other side is the uh, empire. Okay. So in the world setting, there are very, there were very big uh, pre uh, beasts, which called a uh, primor primordial beast. Primordial, yeah. Primordial okay. beast. Yes. But now their body of them is uh, dead. But actually, the how how do, how do you say Tamashi? Oh, their spirit. So their spirit yeah, is their spirit. Uh, uh, exist in there. I see. So the spirit, because of the spirit, our people can live. Mm, they, they called uh, mana. Okay, mana. mana. Oh yeah, mana is like magical power. Yes, like magical, magical power. power. Okay. Yeah. And uh, about the federation side, they treat the primordial beast as if like a god because I they see. provide the energy to oh, the people, right? I see. But on the other hand, the Empire side is treat a primordial beast as if like a source of energy, just source of energy. I see. Then about the characters, um, characters belong to the three groups. Three groups. So one is the Empire. Okay. One is the Federation. Okay. And the other side, the other party is the Adventure Group. Okay. They're, it sounds like they're different from the other two. Yes. Uh, they, that characters were not belong to each side of the, the faction. Oh, okay. But then, but are they are seeking to work? I see. So they're they're kind of independent from the other two, doing their own thing. Yes. Okay. Their own thing. I see. So the story of this title is uh, like our, you know, each characters have own justice, mm. but are the justice is that because they feel that their justice. The, the, the conflict, like our, you know, I empire see. and uh, federation. I see, yeah, yeah, see yeah. The they all different have their own, the yeah, they have their right? own uh, sense of what yeah. is right and wrong. This is the you know, key theme of this title. Okay, well that sounds very ambitious. Mm -hmm. But uh, there are a lot of characters, I, mean, I keep going back to this, there's a lot of characters that I saw in the trailer. Mm -hmm. How many exactly are there going to be in the game? Actually, we have a 21 main characters. 21? Yeah, <laughs> and what's more, actually, the, we treat these 21 characters as uh, all hero and heroine. Oh, okay. Not, uh, not we treat just uh, one character as a hero. We treat 21 all characters as a hero and heroine. I see. Wow. Yeah. Can play the characters episode for each. So mm -hmm. e each character have a own character's episode. So mm -hmm. you play the each character's episode okay. in a game. And about the character design, oh, okay. all characters is designed by uh, Shun Saiki, Saiki Sensei. Uh, okay, the with, name sounds familiar. It sounds familiar. Indeed, so, which is a very famous uh, Japanese comic artist. Oh, really? So, who wrote uh, Shokugeki no Soma, Food Wars in English. Oh, uh, Food Wars, really? Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, all characters designed by oh, Saiki wow. Sensei. Oh, wow, that's where I heard That's that. really nice, right? Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's cool. That's cool, yeah. So in the each chapter that are point of view, so as I said, all 21 hero and heroine. Mm. So you play the each character, each episode for the in the game. So like this is a very challenging for them. So our game. So mm -hmm. the, even if there are one event for that, you can uh, see the story about the one event. If you play the character A you can see the story from the character A's aspect. I see. But when you play the character B, you can see the story from the character B's aspect. I see. This is a very you know, unique point for our game. Uh, I see. Yeah, that sounds very different. Usually, uh, Tales is like one mm -hmm. uh, hero that's mm -hmm. driving the whole story, um, and everyone sort of joins mm -hmm. them or something. Maybe two in one case, but this is different. This sounds very... Yes, it's very like a... We are showing it like an ensemble drama. Like an ensemble. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So like very, an ensemble. This is a very in, uh, interesting point. Yeah, mm. yeah. Um, so I guess there's a lot of different stories. We said 21 characters. Mm -hmm. Each one has its own story. Has yeah. their own story. Many big story holes. Very deep. Yeah, yeah, very deep story yeah. for 21 characters. Yeah. But I, I mean, I have to ask if. Will players have to pay for these as stories? Because, <laughs> I mean, you know, people, uh, you know, it's a free-to-play game, I hear, mm. so what's going to happen there? Like, how does that work? Daijoubu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so, the answer is uh, no. So, you don't need a 
any payment for the about the main story for oh, each character. Oh, okay, that's great news for players. Yeah, so you are easy to find the way of the, their uh, life in a game. Oh, I see. So you can you can exp players can play every character mm -hmm. yes. without any additional purchase. Oh, yes. oh that's great. Hi. Cool. Well, I can't, I mean, I honestly can't wait to play all these players and experience mm. their story. Uh, but there's 21, and it seems like there's a lot to tell for each yeah. of them. It no. feels like we won't be able to do that now. Like, we don't have enough time. <laughs> so, actually, so, we, I really want to explain all characters. Yeah. But, uh, you know, even if, if we have uh, explained the character for each, two minutes for each, so it's going to be a 42. Yeah, that's like an hour, <laughs> almost. It's kind of almost an hour, so yeah. <laughs> I can't, it's difficult to explain all, but, you know, I will explain a few characters in this stream. Oh, okay, so a few today. Mm, two bit today. Okay. And uh, also, uh, you know, it's difficult to explain every character in this streaming, so I will show all of you uh, to the character's introduction trailer from today for by each one character by a day. Uh, one character per day? One, one from character starting, starting today? Yes, yeah, from starting, starting today. today. Okay. So it's going to be a 21 days. 21 days so it's of Luminaria. Luminaria. <laughs> Luminaria character period. Okay, <laughs> 21 days of Luminaria. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. So now to, uh, I will uh, explain about the three characters. Mm. Um, today's but uh, about the other characters, please are uh, looking forward to it. Okay, sounds good. Mm -hmm. So I want to tell you about the detail uh, about the three characters. But mm -hmm. let me before that, let me uh, explain about the three groups. Okay. For each. So first of all, uh, about the federation. Mm -hmm. uh, federation is uh, about the federation. So the characters uh, belongs to the night Edis Na Night Academy. Edis so, Night Academy. So actually they are students. I see. For in uh, Night Academy. I see. For to be a uh, like a fighter in a uh, in the war. In the war. In this war, yeah. Great okay. fighter. Uh, so but uh, she he will he will go to the fighting event, fighting space. Uh, <laughs> I <was> see. Say, <laughs> fighting space. Fighting space. Oh yeah. So, they they go out to battle. Yes. I see. I see. So, <laughs> then and our. Uh, so actually, there are eight chapters in the uh, Federation okay. side. Okay. And I said uh, they are students, but actually one of them is a uh, sensei. Oh, I see. <laughs> so the teacher. Kind of the guiding. Yes. Yeah. Sensei are uh, very, you know, sensei will explain all battle to the I see. Senses, so. I see. And uh, and uh, uh, let me tell you about how they fight. Okay. So actually, uh, they all have a uh, unique unique item okay. for the fighting, so okay. which is called the embryo. Embryo. Okay. Embryo is a kind of crystal of okay. mana. I see. So they uh, pick the embryo in their body in it. Mm. Then because of that, uh, they can use the power, power from the mana, then I they see. use the mystic arts. I see. Arts. So mystic arts are kind of like the special magical ah, yes, powers special magical power, yeah. that they're all using use yeah. from these em embryos. Embryo. Embryos. Okay, yeah. cool. So yeah, like I mean, each of these characters, they're students. It sounds like so, mm. they're just starting to you know grow up. I guess to, I can't think <laughs> of a better way to put it, but they're just starting to become adults and sort of form relationships and decide what they think is right and wrong. Yes, because they are you know that it it indeed it's a very fighting. So Federation and the Empire are fighting each other. So mm -hmm. it could be a serious story, mm -hmm. but actually the, the uh, Federation side is uh, all. Characters are students and mm. the sensei and the sensei, and yeah. uh, teacher. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so it's kind of like a, could be a comedy, like yeah, a really kind of like warming, a, yeah. warming story. Yeah. It is a uh, unique. I see. About the federation. Okay. So let me go on to the empire side. Okay. The second group. Okay. About the empire side is uh, actually more older than the federation side character. I see. So you can. See the story more. Um, how can I say more mature story? More mature, yeah. Mm. More mature. So actually, the, the characters in the Empire side is the uh, army, in the mm. army. Okay. So, so that's why it's kind of the much more mature story. Yeah, they're not in school or anything. Yeah. They've already joined. They've been in the army. They've mm -hmm. been fighting for like years or something, right? Yeah, indeed. I see. Okay. So how about the? I said that our Federation side they have an embryo, mm -hmm. but on the other hand, uh. Empire side have our own item for mm. the fighting. Okay. It's called a reactor. Okay. So 
As I mentioned that our Empire Sad treats the primordial juice like a, just as if the source of energy. Yeah. So they are make it more you know easy to use the mana. Oh, so they I change see. Um, you know the how can I say change our way of the gathering the mana I from see. the primordial beast. Okay. So that I is see. a kind of machine. Oh, which the, is called the reactor. That's what the reactor. Is. I see. Yeah. So the reactor is kind of like a device that they use to pull the energy out, and then anybody yeah. can use the reactor. I wanted to say device. Uh, okay, yeah. To <laughs> come up with that device. I see. <laughs> yeah, but, but yeah, so like anybody can use this. Right? Thought, it's like here, guy on the street, have this so, reactor, and you can just start throwing yes, magic people, cards. People can live because of the reactor. I see. Easily, so. It's a lot easier. I see. So, also that characters in the uh, Empire side also use a reactor. They use reactor and fighting. Oh, okay. Exactly. Okay, okay. So the, the Federation, the Emblios, mm -hmm. the Empire, they use reactors. They both kind of get to the same point, but it's a different way to yes. do it. I see. This is our based on the, you know, the treat to the female. The way they treat the, yes. the beasts. Yeah. Okay, cool. As for the last group, there are the Adventures group. Mm -hmm. uh, with these Adventures group is our Actually, there are uh, five characters mm -hmm. belong to this adventure group, and they are uh, belong. They are from actually each side of the faction, federation, and the empire. But now is not. So they actually have their own goal for their lives. And each of them. Each have, of them have, have a lives and are to pro to reach that lives. So they gather for oh, the other group, as a party. I see. So that they are aim to. That their aim, their goal is uh, to, you know, the, uncover the secret of the primordial beast. Uh, I see. Okay. This is the, uh, the last group adventure group. I see. So all of them, I mean, they all have like a very different feel, mm -hmm. kind of a tone, and mm -hmm. like they have their own different motivations. Mm -hmm. So it seems like a very interesting story to go into and really ex explore all mm -hmm. these characters uh, and uh, sort of see their story. Mm -hmm. With all that being said, mm -hmm. let's talk about those three characters uh, now. <laughs> so this time. Yeah, that's right. We were talking about the yes. characters. So uh, let me about, uh, introduce about the three characters. Actually, yes. these three characters are all the child of food friends. Oh, okay. So let's take a look okay. from the beginning. First of all, first is a Leo full card. As you can see, he is a lively and a active character who always runs towards the action. And he is a swordman with his embryo in his right hand. And his personal philosophy is to always live nobly. Oh, I see. And he will try to be the hero of any situation. Okay. So how do you think about the real? Well, he Leo. seems pretty straightforward, like a, you know the typical sort of hero of a, <laughs> a, a Japanese manga, right? Like Indeed. he seems like the str the straightforward hero of that kind of story, right? Yeah, he is. But yeah. actually, even. He looks very heroic character. Mm -hmm. He is. He has a different way background, different aspect background uh -huh. in his story. Oh, when you you know proceed the story, you can find it. Oh, interesting. So even he has like a little bit different. It's not just the same straight up. Yes. Super. Okay. Cool. That's interesting. Can't wait to see more about that. <laughs> Let me move on to the next character. Uh, next, uh, next up is uh, Seria Arvier. Mm -hmm. She is a top class archer with her embryo in her right eye. In her eye? Right, right eye, yeah. Right, <laughs> right eye. Wow. That so seems as you can like see that there's a, there's a color difference, right? So left oh, and right. Oh, yeah, 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 I see. Right eye yes. uh, embryo. I see. Actually, she, uh, she is a long range fighter. Mm -hmm. So she often provided uh, support by sniping enemy from far away mm. and observing the battlefield with her excellent eyes. I so see. She is a very have a good eye. This is because of that she is in a em embryo. In oh, she eye. has the embryo. That, oh, yeah, I see. And she is also very kind and is usually the group holding these friends together. Okay. She's like the sort of center of the group. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. And finally, there is uh, Hugo Shimon. As you can see from his design, mm -hmm. uh, he is quite different from Leo, actually. He is much more serious and uh, deliberate. Mm -hmm. He used a long sword and the embryo, embryo embedded in his left shoulder, uh, leaves a strong impression. Yeah. 
And actually, I, I think you are surprised, but actually he is in the uh, Empire side. Wait a minute. <laughs> Didn't you say they were all uh, they were childhood friends? Mm. So why why are they fight? Why would he be fighting on the other side? <laughs> actually, this is a very top secret of the story. But, I see. Uh, he he also have a, his justice to keep his own justice to, you know, away from the Federation to the Empire. Oh, interesting. I mean, that's a lot for even just three characters. Mm. <laughs> and you said there's uh, 21. I wonder, mm. like, how, how will the game be able to, like, go into all of those stories for all of these characters? Yes. It seems like a lot. It's a lot. Each character's episode. So each character has their own story mm -hmm. in like, this game. So. For example, uh, about Leo, mm -hmm. you can see the Leo's justice. Mm -hmm. What justice Leo feels. Mm -hmm. And but on the other hand, when you play the Hugo story, mm -hmm. you can see the Hugo's uh, justice I see. on his ass, on his aspect. Oh, okay, so like why he thinks something is yes. your hero. So what, what he thinks is right is the, different. Yeah, the uh, very you know, event occurs. So that's why Hugo is our. Uh, our uh, Betrayed oh, to I the see. Uh, Empire. So, this is about a kind of concept of their justice. I see. I that. see, I see. So, about their game planning, mm -hmm. uh, when you choose a, a Leo episode, so when you choose a Leo episode, of course you can see the Leo story. Mm -hmm. And the, the playable is a Leo. Oh, you're, Leo. you're playing as Leo. Leo. You're playing as Leo. I see, I see. And, but, uh, you know, not. The character is that uh, you can see the other characters, other NPC characters, uh, with a uh, kind of party character. Oh, I see. Other characters will join in in this yes. party. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay. I see. Cool. Um, so when you, you mentioned earlier that there, every event, mm -hmm. we would be seeing it from a different side. Mm -hmm. Can you go into that a little bit more? Okay, so the main story is, uh, as I said, this is a conflict and the fighting that each Faction. Mm -hmm. So the main storyline is uh, the fighting for to approach to the primordial beast. Okay. So like to control. Yes, control the primordial beast. I see. But uh, the in the process for the story, so you can see the each character's episode, mm -hmm. and are uh, and in the process for that, you can see how they establish the relationship for each. Oh, I the see. characters yes. and also the, you know, sometimes the fighting, even if they, um, how how do you say nakama? Even if they're friends or yeah, they're even allies they're friends, or something. So yeah. kind of that, so. <laughs> I see. And okay. and also that uh, about the kind of secret of the character's background. Mm -hmm. So you can see the how they have a process in the, their life in their background. Uh, in the story. Okay, so like flashbacks. It's basically. like a flashback. you'll you'll go back and sort of see something in Leo's mm. childhood or something from a, the point of view of another character yeah. who would happen to be there. Yeah. That kind of stuff. Indeed. Okay, cool. So uh, the main story is a uh, one, mm -hmm. but actually, so as I said, so there are many aspects for each character. So mm -hmm. even if this is our one main story, mm -hmm. but uh, you can choose uh, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. about the character, which, whichever mm -hmm. you want. So this, the way of the telling the story is uh, very different yeah. from how you choose the characters. Oh, yeah, I guess, yeah. Even like you can choose them in different orders and yeah. stuff and kind of experience them as a completely different thing, Yeah, depending on that as well. So thanks to that, uh, you can proceed the, you know, the surprise. Oh, yeah. Because uh, these characters are, these characters shows this but uh, the other characters show different ways uh -huh. of the aspect, I see. even if, the, if this is the same uh, event. Cool. So this is a very important point of this event. Wow, that seems like it's going to make a lot of like really interesting sort of discussions yeah. about each of the characters. Because yeah. <laughs> everyone's going to pick one and be like, I'm Team Hugo or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I like our uh, Kasseria. Like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm Michelle, no. <laughs> or no. So, <laughs> we call Oshikara in uh, Japanese. Oh, Oshikara? So you I can see. find Oshikara. Okay, yes, <laughs> nice. Sounds good. Yeah. Man, uh, so yeah, weaving all of these characters together mm -hmm. um, into a single overarching narrative, mm -hmm.
That really, I mean, you just said it, but it really does sound very different. Like, I can't think of a single mobile game, much mm. less uh, any game, really, mm. that has done something like, like that successfully. Yes, it's a very, I think it's a very unique point of this title. Mm -hmm. So our so in title, so like I said, even if it's a one event, it's one, even if one event, it, but it's our story is very different mm -hmm. for the, uh, each aspect. So, for example, about the uh, when you start the Leo first mm -hmm. episode, Leo and Hugo are still classmates actually oh, okay. at the academy. Okay. So, as the episode goes on, you see Hugo defect to the Empire. Ah, I see. So, and Leo is pain from that, and because you are Leo, so you don't know why your friend abandoned you. Yeah, I see. Then, as we start Hugo's storyline, mm -hmm. He has already joined the Empire side, mm -hmm. and he has enlisted. Mm. In the army, right? In the army, In, right. the, Imperial, right. in the Imperial. Right? Yeah. As his story progresses, mm -hmm. uh, we uncover more and more about his point of view, like uh, why he betrayed the Federation side, mm. or what happened in the uh, Federation, oh, when, when that... he was in the Federation. I see. So it's like it tells the story of why he wants, he feels like he, he had to leave. So yeah, kind of like that. I so see. when you play the Leo, so I don't know why Hugo is uh, going to the Empire side. Yeah. So it kind of is uh, very shocking. Mm -hmm. But when you play the Hugo, it's a uh, very, you know, and understanding how can yeah, you can, Yeah, you understand the sort of yeah, where he's coming so, from. Yeah. yeah, this is cool. the sense of our story. I see, yeah. I see. And the way of storytelling, actually, this is a very unique, right? Yes. So <laughs> I think it's a very diffi uh, difficult to approach this way to the console title. Like, uh -huh. uh, you, you, know, you have to play full time in uh, one chapter, right? Mm. So this is, is our way only we can do, because of we have a 21 hero and heroine. Mm -hmm. And uh, only Lumia yet can do to proceed our Telling the story mm -hmm. this way, yeah, mm. on on mobile, on the mobile. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So like it's it, yeah, because mobile games go on for years. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them, you know, like mm -hmm. I'm still playing some from like five years ago. Or yeah. Something. <laughs> so, you, so I think you can feel more than three story, more than three title console title. I mean, oh, with more all than, of this. Oh mm. wow, <laughs> that's a lot. And I heard the game will be fully voiced in English for the Western audiences, mm -hmm. right? For all of the characters and even the NPCs? Yes, all 21 characters and even the NPCs, all characters, all voice is English voiceover, actually. Oh, wow. And it's uh, supported by uh, Funimation. Funimation? Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, man, I know those guys are famous. Mm -hmm. um, that's a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and let me tell you about your, um, the how you proceed in the gameplay. Mm -hmm. So after the after the announcement mm -hmm. on the game uh, Gamescom at the Gamescom, we saw that SNS like that people say that are they are very curious about how the how they play the Luminaria how casually. Mm -hmm. So they want to have the fans want to play the Tales mobile game as a casual game. Mm -hmm. So because of that, of course, uh, we want to make it more casual. So mm -hmm. uh, we make the Luminaria for many that point as well. I see. Mm -hmm. So we're, you designed it to be more casually played yes. by the players. Yeah, okay, to so suit what, on the Western users. I see. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean exactly? So exactly is our uh, first read the uh, the episode, uh -huh. how, how episode play is our. Uh, you can play the episode one episode in our uh, about a uh, sixty minutes. Okay, about sixty. Okay. About sixty minutes, mm -hmm. and our uh, how you play is uh, we release the episode in a uh, one episode out week. Mm, okay. Weekly, so yeah. you can play as if it's like a more anime or drama or weekly comics. I kind see. Of like that. I see so, that idea. Okay, so that's like spread out over like yes. a, you get one per week. So I see. whenever you want to play, you can play. Okay. Then whenever you want to stop it, you can stop. Then you can play it from the 
途中 ?How to say 途中 the, From the middle. Who's the middle? Yeah,、yes. from the middle, yeah. You can play the middle.、So. Yeah, you can start, start up、mm-hmm. again. Okay, cool. Then, about the episode,、uh, the character episode for 21 characters. Uh, 21 characters have、uh-huh. own eight episodes. Eight, okay. So there's a eight episode s of 21 characters. I see. <laughs> so, eight times 21. <laughs> so inside, wow, that's so, a lot. So that means the, each character h a v e own episode one. I see.、Yes. So after you play the episode one for each 21 characters,、mm-hmm. you have a special episode,、mm-hmm. which is called a close load episode.、Mm-hmm. So as you can Imagine from the close road. Yeah, from the name. Yeah, yeah from the name. So <laughs>、yeah. there are kind of turning points for all、oh, I see. story. I see, I see. For the whole story, for all of the characters. All the kind characters. Of, something happens in each of these、Indeed. that really changes everything. So everything. it's kind of a special、uh, event for that. I see. Then when you play the、uh, close, road, close road episode one, it's going to be、uh, uh, episode two for each. Oh, I see. Okay. And then that pattern continues.、Yes. Okay, cool. Okay, so yeah, it's like an ongoing TV show.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Like animation. Yeah, like an anime. Yeah, cool. Wow, that was a lot of information、mm-hmm. about the story and the characters. So thank you so much for sharing.、Uh, but I guess all I have to say now is what about the gameplay itself? We only saw a little bit in the teaser trailer, so I hope there's more to talk about. <laughs> sure.、Uh, as, I, as I explained、uh, before, so we did a mini challenge. For this title.、Mm. So, like,、uh, we did a challenge for the characters and storytelling story,、so yeah. itself. So, and also, we did a many c h a l l e n g e for the gameplay as well.、Mm-hmm. So, to you know, feel, to make it feel more you know, JRPG, JRPG likely、mm. to play the game,、yeah. like make it a more console, likely console,、mm. so you can、uh, feel into, jump into the like a、uh, The world. Into the world. Even、yeah. if it's a mobile game.、Uh-huh. So, we did many challenges for that. So, I, want, I would want to explain more about that. But I think it's easier to see the Just Play video. Yeah. So I, <laughs> we have a video? Yes, I, I have. Okay, great. So, let's see. Okay.、First. Sounds good.、Mm-hmm. Now, Leo, sizing up this situation, do you have anything to say to us? I. You what? I'm really sorry, okay? I, Leo Fulcott of Class Blaze, 18th generation of the Edith Knight Academy, solemnly vow to focus on our mission to hunt this spy! First things first, though. We need to deal with these beasts. These guys show up. Looks like we're up against a whole pack of them. You two up for this? Sure. Of course. How <laughs> many of them are there? How should I know? Easy. This is nothing. Oh, yeah. We can handle this, right? You go. Definitely. This will settle it, though. Yes! I beat more than you, Celia! Uh, since when were we competing? All living things in this world are made from a substance known as mana. Who are you guys? Us? We're a team from Blaze. We're here to protect you. We designed the game in portrait view so that we can show the character's whole design on your phone screen in the most natural and largest format possible. So their action and emotion will be on full display because it's a vertical display. It's the whole screen. Yes, whole、yeah. screen. So, also, as you can see, we designed the game UI. Uh, we designed the game UI to show off the sky and background, which you run towards in the gameplay. So, in, the, in order to really show off the stage as the story progresses. So, it's like you're going towards stuff? Yes. <laughs> okay. 
speaking of which, that characters talk to each other as they are running to their next battle. Okay. We wanted to keep the action flowing while still progressing the story. Mm -hmm. And when we get to key developments, the game will show cutscenes to zoom in on the action. Okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And also you can talk with the various NPCs throughout the town you visit. Mm -hmm. Did he at least thank you in some way or form? <laughs> Don't be silly, Celia. There wasn't any time for that. Obviously. And if we're talking about what I got in return, I just boosted my nobility big time. What could be more valuable than that? Mm. Hey. Why are you staring at me like that? Nothing. We just need to keep an even closer eye on our boy. Right, Mama Celia? Right, Papa Hugo. Just be careful. Don't let our little troublemaker stress you out too much. Guys. Whoa, what's going on here? Where did all these bull wiggles come from? We don't really have time for this. But if we let them go free, they might cause harm to the village. Let's take them out quickly. Right. Let's do it! I'm already on it! Celia! We can do this! Follow me! <laughs> What's up? Nothing. Just keep getting more glad that you're not Oh, you! Cut it out! Showing its face. You're a scary woman to cross. There will be nothing left. Shred my bow. The battles are meant to be more casual than in console tales games. Where mm -hmm. you have to concentrate on each battle. The battles are designed to be easy to play rather than the focus on each battle one by one. I see. While using basic touch screen controls such as the tapping and the flicking, the players can use their weapons to fight quickly and casually. I see. Yeah, I like the the idea of designing it for playing on smartphones. Yeah, like. Actually, it's very easy because of just tapping or flicking. Yes. So you can play it all while, um, while something doing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or like riding a train or but something. But <laughs> what I want you to do is uh, you know, turning on the uh, voice. Oh, because I see. Yeah. English voice there. yeah, make sure to hear it. So about the action, uh, there are various actions uh, depending on the characters and their weapon. I see. Such as uh, sni sniping remotely with a bow and a row while keeping your distance and giving you a different control experience depending on the character. You can break objects to get in game money and get food from bushes and enjoy walking around. Okay. And speaking of the sound, actually, that reminds me. I wanted to ask, uh, who were the creators that helped make this game? Like, what did we, who did mm -hmm. we enlist to help? You mean uh, all the creator for the Luminaria? Right? Yes, for Luminaria. Oh, yes. okay. We have asked for the cooperation of many wonderful people from various company and staff team to help us create this game. Mm -hmm. So I, as I mentioned, the character design is a uh, side sensor, mm. extreme sensor, yes. and. Uh, the, about the scenario, uh, we actually we have a great uh, team of the writers, mm -hmm. including uh, Sekina Aoi, mm -hmm. Aoi Sensei, who is a very famous light novel writer oh. in uh, Oh, I see, a famous mm -hmm. light novel. Light right? novel. Uh, yeah. I see, I see. For the narrative. Okay. Actually, he is a very fan for the Tales games. Really? Yeah, He's really. a fan of Tales? So, I heard that uh, he played all new Tales series games. All of them? <laughs> All previous games. So wow. He, you know, that he's a super fan. Huh? Super fan. So he, <laughs> so he r really know about the tales. So uh -huh. He picked the sense of tales to I the see. Luminaria. Oh, I see. Great. That's awesome. And about the comp uh, the music, the music composer is uh, Shina Go san Yeah, as, as I mentioned. Yeah. yeah, we talked about. We yeah. talked about and our about the develop game development. It is our Holopu. Mm -hmm. so which is a very famous in Japanese mobile game. So mm -hmm. they are masters of vertical action games on mobile. 
Uh, I see. I think I remember playing a few of their games mm -hmm. before, so that's yeah. cool. Yeah, I can, I, I'm excited. I, I mean, like this sounds like a great team mm. that's making a really interesting game, like from all parts, like yeah. the character design, the stories, the gameplay. Um, and going back a little bit, you mentioned that like all of the characters and their content will come out sort of once per mm -hmm. week. I mean, we even mentioned it's kind of like you're in an anime, mm -hmm. <laughs> you yeah. know? I mentioned it. Yeah, so yeah. I'm just wondering, like, mm -hmm. is there going to be like an opening theme or something like anime, like an opening theme like an anime does? Of course we do. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> of course, uh, we have an opening anime, uh -huh. uh, the other, other tale title we do. Oh, I see. And also, what's more, we have an ending animation. Oh, really? Each so it's really episode. like an episode. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, really like an anime, right? I see, right? that's, uh-huh. Uh, it's an anime. And also uh, about the uh, theme song uh, for the opening animation and the ending animation, uh, we, the, the artist of the, each theme, theme song is our various artist mm. for each uh, music. I see. So about the opening animation is uh, Frederick. Frederick, Frederick okay. the I artist see. in Japan. Uh -huh. And the ending animation is our Kenasuda. Mm. Our Kenasuda for the ending. Mm -hmm. So we all love what they came up with and are super excited to show everyone soon. Oh, nice. But uh, we can't open up opening and ending animation now. I so see. I have to keep it, the information to the, the later, so I will talk it later. Okay, I see. Then, Additional for that about the music, mm -hmm. so the, uh, the artist Frederick san and uh, Sudake san mm -hmm. actually they are very, you know, nakayoshi, very. Oh, they're good friends. Good friends for. Oh, re like in really, really, in real life. Yeah, really. So, oh, okay. So we approach to them that are to make a, like a collaboration music. For it. Oh, I see. Together. Together. So they make uh, a song together. It's okay. very, you know, great, right? Oh, so, uh, yeah, it's cool. It's cool, right? So they may actually make the collaboration music for them, for, for Luminaria actually. Oh, I see. So the music is uh, inspired from the Luminaria story actually. I see. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like the two senses of justice coming, yes. like that, that idea is in the song? So that idea. So oh, wow. The, there's a Freddy some part and Sudake some part, so it, see, it sounds like a, you know, their justice is a conflict. Uh, I see, because, okay, so yeah. the two artists are sort of attacking each other yes. almost in the song. Mm -hmm. Well, I really want to hear this. Yes. <laughs> like, you, you sort of built it up a lot, uh, so I, I kind of want to... I knew what, what you said so, so yeah. I actually, I bring it Oh, nice. Now. So, <laughs> yeah. So, for using that inspired song, we prepared our music video style, video summarizing all the information what I explained today. Okay. So, please watch it. Okay. ふみ出した I feel like I'm a broken record. I keep saying this mm -hmm. over and over again, but I'm just so excited. Like, mm -hmm. that was amazing. The yeah, lyrics, indeed. 
the lyrics really sound like they're coming from Leo and Hugo and sort of their, their yes. conflict and their Yeah, Frederick Sun part and the Suda Sun yes. part. So then the, the main part is uh, both. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like, uh, you know, the showing the, uh, the justice for each other. I see. After yeah, this yeah, yeah. theme of the, the title is, uh, you know, the, they have their uh, own justice, mm -hmm. yeah, but the, there could be a conflict for, because of their own justice. Mm -hmm. So we provided uh, the uh, whole script mm -hmm. to the Suda san and the Frederick san, then they are inspired from them and uh, write uh, music. I see. So that is why that uh, sounds like that. I see. Mm -hmm. Great. That sounds awesome. Yes, indeed. So. It, but it's it's not just for the Leo and the Hugo. Oh, actually. really? Okay. So this theme, uh, as I said, this theme of the um, the sense of the sense of this title is uh, you know the, for, have a justice for each character. So this are uh, music. It could be uh, for each character. Mm -hmm. So I see. it's not just for the Leo and the Hugo. So for whole twenty one chapters. I see. Mm -hmm. Cool. So that was a lot of information we gave the players. Yes, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but there's one last thing, I think, right? Yes, I have a very big news oh, for really? this project. OK, what is it? You want to hear that? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, so, let's go. <laughs> actually, actually, we have an animation project for the Luminaria. Uh, really? Really, actually. Oh, so, wow. The name of the animation is uh, Tales of Luminaria, The Faithful Cross Zone. OK. So this uh, animation will will be made from the Kamikaze doka -san. Oh, really? Yes, which is uh, made by the Tales of... We have a Tales of Crestoria, the previous Oh, title. yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So there were uh, animations uh, yeah. made by Kamikaze doka -san. But yes. Kamikaze doka -san is also making the Luminary animation as well. Oh, great. Mm. Yeah, they're famous. I, I think they're even famous in the US. <laughs> 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 I think people know them now. Yeah, they, They're really good. <laughs> nice. That's and, awesome. But uh, about the Crystoria, it's a uh, Crystoria anime is uh, the kind of the beginning of the game story. Yeah. But about about the luminary animation is uh, like our later story of the game. Oh, so, I see. Sort of in the middle of everything. Yes, the middle of everything. So. I see. So the, the, about the animation, so we talked that uh, the game the game is a uh, the 21 characters and you can play for each aspect. Mm -hmm. But uh, about the animation. The, uh, the aspect of the storyline is uh, one chapter. I see. And we show eight characters in uh, animation. Okay. But it, so it's from one person's point of view. Yes, one person for them. I see. Cool. Uh, so I heard we have an advanced cut of the of the anime. <laughs> <laughs> Don't keep me waiting. I gotta see it. <laughs> mitai desu ka? Yes. Mitai you you want to see that uh, the animation cut as well? So it's uh, just a tiny uh, 10 second, uh, 10 to 15 seconds. So oh, okay. Let, let's see it. Okay, let's take a look. Just tell me one thing. What is justice to you? My answer won't change! This path is where my justice lies! Do you think that's what you're doing right now? Answer me! Hugo! What? Oh. Wait a minute! <laughs> like what? How did you Le think Leo that? and Hugo are fighting. That's insane. Yeah. <laughs> like so. we just what? They were just friends a second ago. It feels like. <laughs> yes, I really want to explain more about the animation actually. Uh huh. But uh, you know that my the promoter is uh, said that don't keep it. Uh, oh, please keep I... it uh, later. So uh, I gotta I learn. <laughs> <laughs> I have to. I but oh, uh, don't worry. I will explain about the animation the later. So oh, okay. Please. Keep with about oh, okay, it. okay, can't wait for that one. Yeah. So one thing, uh, I said that uh, we have a big support by Funimation. Yes. And about the English voice cast, mm. uh, we are go we gonna announce about the who will uh, act the each characters in the Funimation blog. I see. Mm. Funimation is gonna have it on their blog. Okay. Yes. So we'll have a link to that. Yes. Okay. Please, please check it. Okay. Well, there were so many announcements that we covered for both mm. the anime and the game, um, and especially the anime. That was a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't wait for everyone to play uh, play Luminaria. Mm. Uh, by the way, viewers, what do you all think? Please let us know um, in the chat section on this video, and we'll be uploading it as well to our social media uh, channels like YouTube, etc. Mm. So in the comments there, please let us know. We promise we'll read everything. Mm. We really want to know what everyone thinks about this idea. Um, it's a big challenge for us, like we said, so please let us know what you think. Mm.
So, by the way, the about the pre-registration is actually now open. Oh, nice. And also, please check out our homepage, the Channel Plus, to sign up for more information on Luminaria. And also, Arise and all our other Tales games. And finally, uh, we are planning to introduce Luminaria at the Tokyo Game Show in Japan as well. So, we hope to share that information with all our overseas fans as well in a special way. So, stay tuned. Cool, can't wait. Uh, so, thank you all very much for watching the Tales of Luminaria show. We look forward to seeing you again soon with more.